All right, I now will be walking into the labor camp plush off. Gray House, the residential building for employees of the Cracker Jewish community when it was first built in the, in the 20s. In the camp, it was uh, first camp personnel, offices and apartments. The basement was used as a jail. The Jews caught in the Aryan side, the wrong side of the ghetto. Prisoners of the Gestapo were brought here and then executed. Firing squad or hanging. Sometimes released, but firing squad or hanging. A lot of the work done here was there was a rock quarry, hard, heavy work hauling rocks and carving up rocks out of hill, out of little, little hills around here, busting rocks, hauling rocks. Not an easy job. Especially when you're forced labor, slave labor, and oftentimes beaten or worse if you can do the job fast enough or well enough, or sometimes just because. hills. Twice a day, morning and evening, prisoners were brought in and made to stand and um, make sure that the number or names were all coming back from work. This is also an area where there were public executions of prisoners. Up there was the house of Amon Gut. You can't see it now. The trees are all in the way, but none of these trees were, were 
were here back then, as you can see by the pictures. the industrial part of the camp. Barracks everywhere. Inmates here worked in workshops, armaments. The quarry's up way past up there. So here is some rocks and This is part of it. It's, it's, it's huge, the area that this covers. in terms of physical remnants remain. I'd wash off. is where we first saw the, the sign that said this is the washout camp. So this is sort of the outer part of it. The quick pictures of what it was like back then. It's so different, you know, looking at these pictures to the looking at the, the trees and the, the hills. This is what it looked like then. trees, the brush. Here's the barracks that were here. Not just Jews were here, but Poles and other prisoners were here as well. entire area. On this map, we're by number eight. We've covered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight so far. I don't think we're gonna get to some of these things, but our best to cover what we can. Oh, this is, uh, this is the cemetery, right? There was a cemetery in Podgorz. When they built this camp, they um, grave. We'll go to the mass grave area later where the monument is today. Watch them.
A lot of history, a lot of solemnity. You know, artifacts and places that express themselves, express a memory.